All right, welcome back. Episode two of the cage build at Sinclair Community College in the high performance fabrication class. Last week, we measured and bent up the rear hoop. This week, we're gonna install that rear hoop, secure it, take some measurements for our front halo, bend our front halo, and see if we can't get our front halo installed. So we now have our rear bar installed. Next thing we need to do is get it secured and then we'll measure for our front halo. The front halo is a bar that will extend from the rear bar up across the front of the windshield and then back to the other side. It'll be the bar that is above the driver to protect it in case the vehicle were to roll over. So now since the rear bar is in, but it's just tacked in, the bar actually has a little bit of wiggle to it. So what we wanna do is we wanna try and secure it so we can get rid of that wiggle so all of our other measurements will be accurate. What I like to use to secure the bar is actually ratchet straps. We'll put one ratchet strap from the bar going towards the back of the vehicle and one ratchet strap from the bar going towards the front of the vehicle, have them two pull against each other and that should secure the bar. First off, we're gonna run this hook over and run it all the way back. We're gonna go all the way into the speaker pocket back here. And then with the other side, with the ratchet, we're gonna go and run the ratchet all the way back to this speaker box over here. All right, now since our ratchet is secured towards the rear of the vehicle, we need to take the other strap and go around here and then go towards the front of the vehicle to secure it. Now we're gonna run the, the other strap around the bar and then up to a hole in the floor, then take the ratchet, secure it in the same place, take our slack out of our ratchet, and then I don't wanna to go too crazy yet because I need to know exactly what angle this rear hoop is at and I can adjust the ratchet either the front or the rear to get the angle that I'd like. With our smart level, we can actually measure the degrees at what the bar is sitting and if it's not where we want, we can just ratchet the ratchets a little bit and kind of slowly adjust until we get to the desired amount of degrees for the rear bar. The next thing we need to do is we need to measure up for our front halo bar. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how wide it needs to be and then how far forward it needs to be to the windshield. So I'll take those measurements, we'll put those measurements in the computer, that'll give us our start marks for our front halo, and then we'll bend that halo bar up. So we got our dimensions, we entered it in our software, we marked our piece of tubing, and we went ahead and bent our piece of tubing. So yeah, the two bends are gonna be up along the windshield, and then we ended up coming down here and having a little bit of a kick to actually go to the rear main hoop. Now a nice helpful hint that I found, when installing the front halo bar, it's very difficult especially doing it one person, to be able to try and hold the bar up. So what I do is I'll run another ratchet strap all the way across the car and then run the halo bar on top of that strap and that'll help hold the front halo bar as I try and fit it to the rear main. Makes it a whole lot easier when the windshield's not in it as well. Once I got the halo bar in here, I ran a level across it and got it leveled and then made a mark of where the middle of the tubing needed to be on the actual rear, rear hoop. This allows me to continuously put it back in the exact same location so as I go in and out, notch the tubing a little bit more, I make sure I'm going back to the same location every time. Thanks for watching us here at uh, Sinclair Community College. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. Next episode, we'll start working on the front half of the cage. See you then.